What's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL Opposite from the Norm. And real quick, I just want to let y'all know about Opposite from the Norm apparel t shirts. Brought to you by GFAM G Wear. You like our show and our content? Then go to GFAMENT.com and click on G Store, and there you can purchase an Opposite from the Norm t shirt. Also, you can check out other great tees that represent true kings and true queens as well. Shirts that motivate and make you feel great. Once again, that's gfamnt.com and click on the G Store link to get your apparel tees. Now back to the show. Chill. What's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL, opposite from the norm. Before I get started, make sure y'all smash that like button, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. Yep, you see the picture right there. Little ass 11 year old girls. And this is the movie Netflix decided to put out called Cuties because it did good at Sundance or whatever, somewhere in France. And they decided to put this movie on Netflix and they're getting a lot of backlash for the shit. So I'm not going to show that picture too much longer because it's disgusting. All right. So y'all get this. This Let me give you the, the premise of the movie. 11-year-old girl immigrant Amy Original originally hailing from Senegal, lives with her mother, Mariam, in one of Paris's poorest neighborhoods, poor neighborhood, get this y'all, poor neighborhoods in an apartment along with her two younger brothers are waiting for their father to rejoin the family from Senegal. Things turn swiftly as Amy is fascinated by her disobedient neighbor, Angel Angelica's twerking clique called Cuties, an adult style dance troupe which has contra contrasting fortunes and char characteristics to Miriam's traditional customs, values, and traditions. Angelica's twerking clique called the Cuties. So this movie is about some little black girl from Africa, from Senegal, that it lives in France. I mean, uh, in in Paris, in one of the poorest communities, and. Her mother is a Muslim. Her parents are Muslim. And she's fascinated by one of her neighbors who has a, a twerking team. A fucking twerking team. Yeah, you heard that right, dads. Y'all go ahead and get your motherfucking pistols and sawed off. They decided to release this movie. And people are really pissed about this shit as they should be. It was released in France and did good at Sundance. I don't, I don't, I don't see how the fuck that happened. And matter of fact, I looked at um the trailer because i seen this uh this other guy he had put it up and he was going off about it and i was like what this gotta be fake so the dislikes on the trailer is some nasty motherfuckers gave it like twenty two that thousand nasty motherfuckers gave it thumbs up but I, almost eight hundred thousand people with good sense gave it a thumbs down people going off about it and netflix reply was they changed the artwork it was the artwork that was a problem. So now this is the artwork that they're going back to, I believe. But they changed the artwork. They're saying the problem might have been just it, it looked over sexualized. So they changed the artwork. No, the problem was with the fucking movie. Like, who did y'all make this movie for? Fucking R. Kelly? Like, the fuck? And then peep this out, guys. The rating of the movie has TVMA, which means that it is not meant to be seen by people under the age of 17. This took people by surprise because the movie is about 11-year-old girls, which has led people to believe that it is inappropriate and, and objectifying children for adult entertainment. Come on, man. Think about that shit. We got Epstein. We got Trump was hanging with him. Clinton and his wife was hanging with him. And all types of other celebrities was hanging and pol politicians, bankers and all types of people was hanging with Epstein in different countries. Trump said himself on that Epstein documentary, which nobody's talking about. He said Epstein's a great guy, has a lot of women around him, pretty young. That That's all you had to say. These are the things that these type of people see all the fucking time. And this is what we're coming to. They didn't take the movie off. All they did was change the artwork. That's that's all they changed. They didn't take the movie off. So who the fuck is going to watch? As a matter of fact, let's just keep it gangster. This, this is what we get. They say twerking because they wanted people to watch this. They thought 
that it's okay to do this with 11 year old fucking girls thank you cardi b thank you Nicki minaj thank you city girls thank you megan the stallion this is what it has come to because you got to realize something all the rappers back then while they talking about how men got away with it ice t too short tupac biggie nas wu-tang uncle lou all these people always say that this is adult content nelly said when they was coming after him for the uncut uh video that he had tip drill right but nelly said something interesting he said i don't get how this video shows on an adult show called uncut on bt at three o'clock in the morning how are you letting children stay up this time of night to watch that? He said, I can be on the road and my 10 year old daughter is in bed before 10 o'clock. But you mean to tell me, and oh, I almost forgot. And this is another thing, all these rappers said, all of them, this is adult content. How are children getting music that says plain and in and, and simple format right on the front of the cover, parental adv advisory, you know what I'm saying? It says parental advisory on the front of the album cover. What stores are letting these children buy this shit? What parents are buying this music for these children that's under 17? But we keep taking up for these hoes and scrippers and thoughts and tell me ain't nothing wrong with it. There ain't nothing wrong with y'all playing their music while kids is listening instead of playing it in the evening. Kids can't listen to music no more like that on the radio. Parents shouldn't even let their kids listen to the radio. But now since twerking has become so popular, popularized, not only by our sisters, but you got white girls like fucking H Hannah Montana twerking. And now this is what you get. This is where we at. I wonder what all these hoes that be that's out here that's famous that twerk all the time, what they got to say about this shit. What are they going to say? Oh, they figuring it out at a young age. That's what they want to do. So what's wrong with it? What you going to say? I bet you the Breakfast Club and Everyday Struggle itself for academics, which I was surprised. It's going to be like, oh, that's disgusting. I bet you they try to say that's disgusting. Where you think it came from? Is y'all going to tell the truth about that? I doubt it. This, this is where we at now. Congratulations. You played yourself. I had to say that. <laughs> but this is, this is where we at. Some disgusting ass shit. This your boy JTI, opposite from the North. Like, share, comment, make sure you subscribe. And I know all y'all out there with daughters around this age, y'all gonna find this shit disgusting like I do. This this is fucking disgusting that you mean to tell me this movie is about some 11 year old girls forming a fucking twerk team. And the only people that can watch it is 17 and older. Fuck out of here.